Today on SA Live, we prepare for 3.14 Day, also known as Pie Day, with pizza deals fresh out of the oven. Hollywood glitz and glamour has taken over Texas. We give you a view of the South by Southwest red carpet celebrity interviews. And we crack open what's happening at the Crawfish Festival and share a delicious deal for active military and veterans. Celebrating 10 years, live from historic Market Square, this is SA Live. And we are talking pizza today. You know, we're celebrating 10 years, and uh, our guests, our first guests, are also celebrating a big anniversary. We can tell you about that. But first of all, okay, tomorrow is Pi Day. 314, 3.14. But we wanted to, to raise the question, and uh, Matt and Anga from the Tangas are gonna also try and ponder this. So, you have a round pizza in a square box eaten in a triangle. Was there some geometry teacher somewhere that came up with all of this? Uh, what, what's the answer, Matt? There had to be. He probably just got tired of the kids and had to go into pizza making and still have all the kids. So I'm guessing that's what it was. Had to be. Okay. So had to be. square, or, triangle, circle? Or, or we just engineered it because that's the best way to get the most toppings on and still have space for dips on the side. Oh, so you can put little goodies in there. Yeah. Okay. Well, we solved that that problem there. So, all right. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Oster Hage. And, of course, our first guests, again, are from Matangas. And boy, do they make some good pizzas. As a matter of fact, they were voted best pizza in San Antonio in 2023. Welcome. What an honor. What was oh, that absolutely. like? Oh. oh. That was huge, phenomenal. Was huge. phenomenal. That, that, yeah. It's our customers. Thousands of votes. So we're yeah. incredibly grateful. Love our customers in all San Cause, Antonio. Because pizza is one of those things, kind of like you know tacos, where you've got yeah. your favorites, and there's a bunch of them around town. And yes. you're 10 years old tomorrow, right? That's right. Yeah. Happy birthday, by Thank the way. You. Thank okay. you. Thank you so much. And of course, the dates, which is where you start. Did you do that on purpose? Start on on Pi yes. Day? Yes. Yes. Matt, well, I'm actually it's on our logo, the pie. So we're, we're engineers, so we're a little bit obsessed with that. I mean, we had to put it in the logo. Can, it's can hidden. You it's the, hidden, you know, but it's there. Let's see. Where can we see it best? Well, on the your, logo on your is, is there as well, but okay. The double T. The double T is, pie. is is to look like the the Greek letter Pi right there. So okay, and you've got some uh, you know good old fashioned regular flavors and some specialties, and we're yes. making one right now that really piqued uh, David Sears' interest. This is coming out for Fiesta, right? That's right. It's coming up in in, in uh, April, and okay. we're celebrating all the flavors of San Antonio. This one has a it's kind of elote flavors. Mm -hmm. So we have a little bit of uh, corn, has sour cream, crema, all the flavors. So this is almost like a little bit of street corn. That's sort right. Of, as yeah, the base all, on the, here. all the flavors that, that we all love yeah. and grew up with. So it has mozzarella cheese. You gotta have mozzarella cheese that's right. on, on pizza. It brings everything together. You don't skimp on the cheese, do you? No, that's just not at all. How so, do you come up with all your different flavors? So we do have a, a research in uh, our R&D, which is our research and eating department. Every Monday we get together. <laughs> the eating, she's the research, <laughs> it works know, out but, well. Uh, yeah, so we have like some that. of our managers we get together on Mondays actually, try different flavors. That's your cotija cheese. So Yeah, I mean it looks like Parmesan, that was my first guess with pizza, yeah, but. it's very similar, but obviously we added cotija being kind of the flavors that it is, and uh, it turns out, you know, cotija is a town in Mexico I didn't know about. Okay, but. and this is the cheese that is on, yes, like, the street corn, that, so. yes. Okay. But, yes, absolutely. A little bit of cilantro. A little bit of cilantro, cilantro and obviously there. the tajin that adds that flavor of that zing of the lime. Uh, we love that on everything here in San And Santa let Tony. me tell you, keep talking if you don't mind, because I'm going to have to take a bite of this. And yeah. Uh, so the, the, you really like the creaminess, the, the flavors. It, it, I mean, everything. It is yeah. the, the creaminess that's in there as well, because I love like Alfredo sauces, things like that. But it, and yeah, just a nice little blend of all these, all like these different it. flavors. A little fiesta in your mouth, if you will. Exactly. When is this going to be introduced? It's April 1st. We're yeah. going to launch it. Okay. But yeah. So, but, you know, fiesta is the middle of, uh, did I say April? Yes, April yeah. 1st. Okay. Yeah. Tell us about the special again for tomorrow for Pi Day, of course. For Pi Day, we've got $3.14 for a 10-inch pizza. Each topping on top of that is a dollar. It's a cheese pizza that comes with it. We're starting taking orders at 3.14 p.m. tomorrow, so don't forget. And some stores will probably sell out because we just don't have enough space for all of that dough. Speaking of stores, how many do you have now? We have six, and we are working on three more. So really? we've got a map of our, our six stores here, yes, and we don't have all those locations uh, hold that, ready hold for that yet. We'll still but, make uh, maybe get a shot of it, and you can see where some you. of those are. Of course, you can go to their website and find out where all the stores are. So not only you were voted Best Pizza in 2023, but also recognized as one of the 35 pizzerias to watch in 2024. 
That's nationwide? Yes. That list goes out like January comes up for... Wow. Yes. And one of the fastest growing businesses here by Small Business Journal, too. Yes. What's absolutely. your secret? Well, besides really good pizza, I mean. Well, the, the pizza, obviously, a, a lot of love that goes into it. Our, our people, they work incredibly hard and try to infuse everything with a little bit of a Texas hospitality. Um, and we, we love our community. We try to give back to the community, and the community always supports us. Then. And one thing I would be remiss if I forgot about this right here, which is not pizza, but just explain what this is because, oh my gosh, this is what we all die to do. So. That is what happens when Hangum is not around and we're playing with uh, certain Oreos. And so we basically <laughs> took a whole sleeve of Oreos, put it on a 10 inch and rolled it up, threw it through the oven because it seemed like a good idea. And then we've been tasting it by dipping it in a raspberry preserve Go ahead. that is fantastic. Tastes like this hot chocolate cake with crust on it. It's very, very good. Not one, not five Oreos. Just the sleeve. The sleeve, all 10, yeah, 12. That in all itself is fantastic. All right, if you'd like more information on Matangas Pizza, head over to salive.com. We have provided a link. Don't forget about the special tomorrow for Pie Day. It starts at 3.14 in the afternoon, and you get the 10-inch cheese pizza, personal pizza, and you can add you just scan that, scan any topping you want to, scan that QR code on your screen, or just go to salive.com. Okay, that raises the question, while I'm trying to do the Oreo thing here in my mouth, how do you eat your pizza? You have the triangle and drop stuff on the floor. How do you eat it? What's the best way to eat it? Well, from the front to the triangle is perfect, and you know as it goes through. So that's your engineering mouth. to get in your mouth. To that's go. right. Yeah. So uh, my favorite way is to fold it because I want to catch the grease right here in my hand. So that as I'm finishing taking that Ooh. bite, I'll dip the crust and lick my hand, uh, get the grease. You know, because you don't want to waste anything. So. <laughs> and of course, it's like I need to be around more. I don't know what's going <laughs> yeah, she's on. Not, you're <laughs> not going to do that in public. Oreos. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, so anyway. <laughs> so scan. <laughs> Thank you both Thank very you. much. Absolutely. Delicious Thank pizza. And don't forget to scan that QR code and tell us how you like to eat your pizza. Okay, so uh, South by Southwest Festival is the center of everything that music, tech, culture, film, it's happening right now just up the road, of course, in Austin. And we have got you covered. We sent one of our producers, the one, the only, the man, the myth, the legend, John Mara, up I-35, to several red carpet premieres to get a sneak at what to look out for in TV and film. And here's what you can expect. be 30 dead scientists in the past month. Christ, another countdown. I play Jin Chang, she's a, a genius of her generation, a particle physicist, and she is one of the Oxford Five who are also geniuses who are um, pushing ahead to solve the mysteries that, are, that are humanity is facing at the moment. You know, we build this world with, with the VFX and then there's so many sort of size specific uh, places where they just kick the doors down and they let them film there. And so um, we had a real sense of reality in where we were filming as well. So, you know, apart from them, um, you know, sometimes I kind of sort of call it as like science faction, you know, uh, sometimes. So, yeah, it's been, um, so, yeah, it's been a wonderful um, uh, project to be a part of. You know. What drew you to this project specifically? Well, the script first and foremost, Tom Bateman's script, and of course Daisy Ridley was an enormous attraction, but the themes of the film really spoke to me, and uh, yeah, it just felt like a page turner that I just really wanted to get my hands on. Uh, I was on set with uh, a little girl playing my daughter, and I just thought how strange it is. On film sets we have these intense relationships, and she knew that I, of course, wasn't her parent, but at work she's calling me mummy, and we're building a relationship, so it's, it came from that of the lines being, the original idea was the lines being blurred with an actress trying to, limp, trying to infiltrate a family. Can you talk to me about your character, Bob Trevino? Yeah, Bob Trevino was based on the true story of the director, writer right there, Tracy. Uh, that she was, you know, 
she meet, she re meets her father on Facebook, but it's not really her father. She, she meets the wrong guy, but they have a better relationship. So you work closely with John Leguizamo on this film. What was it like being so close to, like, interacting with him on this film? Well, John's incredible. I've been, like, such a huge fan for so long, and it was just, it's always really cool to work with people that I look up to because it's like I learn so much, and, you know, I get to um, play in different ways, and everyone's energy is so different. So with John, it was just so cool to, like, have this icon um, to have these scenes with and all these emotional and funny and just incredible like very tender scenes with him it was just incredible <laughs> This film centers around a mother-daughter relationship. You can you talk to me uh, about women in film and representation for women in film and why that's important? Oh, um, maybe in a hundred years that won't be a question. A human story is valuable as any other human, whether you're white, black, brown, cat, dog, purple, green. So you're kind of known for your comedy. Did you get to let that out at all in this film? Be be a little silly. I think this is a much. It's a it's a dramatic film. It's a dramedy. There's there's comedy in there, but without. If it's funny, it's because of the human experience, not because I'm trying to be funny. The movie is hysterical and tragic and, you know, and all the things you love from entertainment. But it really, to me, the wonderful importance of it is it creates a link between the human experience and the animal experience. And Sasquatches, by their very nature, represent the, that link. And so this movie, I think, will connect people, maybe even unconsciously, to like a greater connection to nature and animals, because that's what Sasquatches are. They're the link between the human beings and the animal life experience. <laughs> Looks interesting. Other movies to look out for include The Fall Guy, starring Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt, Roadhouse, yeah, they're remaking that one, starring Jake Gyllenhaal, and the new documentary, Cheech and Chong's Last Movie. Stay with SA Live for more South by Southwest coverage, and for more information on South by Southwest and the red carpet movie premieres, of course, head over to SALive.com, click on the Ask on SA Live tab. We have provided a link or just scan that QR code right there on your screen. All right, we're getting wild today. Easter's around the corner, and we have giant bunnies. Yeah, that thing is huge. Hopping on into the show where you can find these furry friends. And we get a glimpse into the fashion world. The Texas fashion designer shares the latest looks. And if you have the talent, we share how your fashion designs can be seen on the runway. That's next on SA Live. Say live. Well, Fashion Week in Milan just ended last month, but if you are a Texas fashion designer, we have a fashion event that you need to be a part of. And joining us right now is Mark Anthony Ball, who is Director of Community Outreach for the Texas Fashion Industry Initiative and fashion designer Henry Mahome of Yo Sneaks, and he's going to be showing off some of his designs in just a couple of minutes. But first of all, Mark Anthony, what is the mission of the Texas Fashion Industry Initiative? The Texas Fashion Industry Initiative, we are all about community upreach and we want to make sure that we inspire young designers and creatives to showcase what they want to do. And we help build out with them with their website, fashion, uh, finance, and everything else. So we really just want to uplift and promote the Texas fashion industry. So they can learn a lot of the basically nuts and bolts, not just like, oh, I'm, I like this color, this fabric, things like that, but how to run maybe the business, right? Correct, exactly. I think a lot of times we have the idea of the design, but we don't know necessarily how to build the website or start e-commerce or any of that financial finance that people actually really need. So we bring that education to to young designers and some of our seasoned designers as well. Okay, Fashion Week's not until October. Why are you promoting it right now? Yeah, so Texas Fashion Week is October 1st to the 7th and we're doing it now just because we have activations throughout the year, whether it's from uh, now through the summer um, all the way up until Fashion Week in October. So we want to encourage people to apply at our website, has our criteria necessary, and we want to make sure that we get as much participation as possible because we have four fashion shows, so far 30 designers. This is definitely the space that you want to be to showcase what you made. How long has it been going on? Oh man, this is our fourth year actually. So we are just starting our fourth year. Um, three years ago, we had a, an idea and we kind of ran with it. And Ron, uh, Mayor Ron Nirenberg dedicated Texas Fashion Week to be based in San Antonio. So we want to make sure that we incorporate Austin, Dallas, Houston, even the small cities to come out and showcase what they have. And you never know when somebody's going to be there in the audience looking at it and the rest could be history, right? Exactly. Next year on Paris Fashion Week, New York Fashion Week, or wherever. <laughs> All right, Henry. 
You have been a part of Texas Fashion Week, right? Absolutely. How has it helped you? It helps me a lot. It actually um, has uh, encouraged me to reach out, uh, breach out actually into the community. Um, learned a lot about the business side of it, um, networking uh, aspect of it, but also just how to put pieces together, not just um, for on the internet, as you would say, but actually what it would look like in real time, have people look at it, uh, be able to touch it, see it uh, in person, but how to uh, cultivate that entire thing from start to all the way finish. And we've got some of your fashions right here. Tell us about this. So this is um, a piece mainly just uh, kind of like a streetwear aesthetic of everyday life. Uh, so what I wanted to incorporate is just style of storytelling. Basically, uh, with just the minimalist things, you can tell a full story. So I have everything that incorporates from uh, the workwear all the way down to just like the straight t-shirt and design. So this is uh, a little bit of what I want to be able to show uh, from the cut, um, how the pieces fall off of the body, and just how they maneuver. So what would you tell somebody who is just aspiring to be that next designer about Texas Fashion Week? What, what would be your one good piece of advice? Oh, I don't think I can boil it down to one piece of advice, <laughs> but I will say if uh, you just reach out uh, try and put the effort in, actually put the time and uh, the dedication into it, and um, as they say, uh, fail forward. So uh, just try it. If you mess up, uh, something doesn't look right, try again, keep going. Um, and the cool thing about the Texas Fashion Week and just the community in itself is um, everybody works together. Uh, we always say teamwork makes the dream work, so um, everybody works as a community and puts everything together. Yeah, just, just being around other folks is, is kind of inspiring like that. So again, if you'd like uh, Texas Fashion Week, is this coming uh, October 1st through the 7th at KLRN, and they are looking for designers to sign up for more information on Texas Fashion Week and Yo Sneaks, it's because he like saying, hey, Yo Sneaks, like those. You head over to SALive.com, <laughs> click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, and we have provided a link. Thank you all very much. Gentlemen, appreciate it. Thank Absolutely. you. All right, listen up. We have got a big deal for active military and veterans. If you love crawfish, you better stick around. And next, get a special deal on admission to the San Antonio Zoo this week with help from a local credit union making a difference in our community. Keep it here on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, you know what would be nice, a real nice surprise for your teacher when they get back from spring break? How about a $500 gift card? Well, that's what First Mark Credit Union and the First Mark Foundation are going to give away to KSAT's Educator of the Month. And they have even more going on this spring. And here with everything that you need to know is Brian Torres, who's Digital Marketing Manager with First Mark. Welcome. Good to yes, see you, sir. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Okay. First of all, spring break. A lot of folks going to the zoo. Yep. You have a partnership with the San Antonio Zoo and offering discounted tickets. How do folks participate? Yeah, it's a great time, you know, so you're looking for something to do over the, the spring break. So we have a partnership with the zoo that we rolled out. Um, so pe people can go to our, QR, click the QR code or go to our website. Um, they can get any day admission tickets. So that's for adults and students. Um, so the cool thing about it is you get a $5 discount on that. But the added bonus for First Mark and the First Mark Foundation is a portion of that uh, ticket goes to the First Mark Foundation. Um, and that's our giving arm for First Mark. So we're able to get back to our education community. Fantastic. So yeah. Nonprofit, the zoo, they benefit from it. First Every, everybody benefits. gets up Folks there. get to go to the zoo. Yeah. Okay, you do a great job of giving back to educators and students, but also mm -hmm. the community as a whole. How else do you lend a helping hand? Yeah, so we work with First Mark. So as a credit union motto is people helping people. Um, so with First Mark, they give us about 16 hours every year to go ahead and volunteer into the community. Um, so we take the advantage of that. As you can see pictures, uh, we help at the food bank in New Braunfels and here in San Antonio. We had a diaper drive for the Texas Diaper Bank. Um, so our team members all donated. We were able to help uh, a couple hundred families um, give diapers and toiletries and that kind of thing. Um, so you'll see us out in the community. We did a, recently we did a Read Across America. So we have read to uh, pre-K and second graders at Cotton Elementary School. Um, so First Mark is all about giving credit unions help, uh, people. Um, so we're able to do that with our employees and get back to the community that and way. And the event coming up Saturday at uh, McAllister Park. Very true. Yeah, we'll yeah. be at Festo Tales as well. Um, so we'll have a table there, can learn about First Mark and what we're able to offer, and then have some fun, see the dogs we and kites. We were just talking about them yesterday. Yeah. Okay, what's with the dollar checking account? 
that that helps out too, right? For sure, yeah. So I was talking about the, the partnership that we have with the zoo. Um, the power of the dollar is our giving arm. So sorry, power of the dollar is our checking account, where a dollar of each checking account goes to our First Mark Foundation. The First Mark Foundation is where we're able to go ahead and give to the education community. So starting as a teachers' credit union, uh, we like to get back in that way, going back to our roots. So we do high impact grants to help um, teachers and future teachers um, grow in that space. And then, as you can see, with the power of the dollar checking account people can benefit from the product itself. So that 3% checking account that you earn, it's tax refund season, right? Looking for somewhere to park your money. If you open up a checking account with us, um, you get an added bonus. Um, you also get ATM reimbursements and loan discounts with our Power of the Dollar checking account suite. Nice. And speaking of teachers, mm -hmm. folks can still nominate favorite educator through a KSAS Educator of the Month. How do the winners and their students react? This must be the best part about it. Yeah, as you can see, you know, we went to the, the rodeo recently and the teachers are always surprised. It's usually a huge spectacle. They have all the students there. So once the cameras and the lights are on, the students love it. Um, high school students and we have uh, previous uh uh, students for certain teachers that come out so it's a great way for us to get back all of them they're all extremely surprised um, the added bonus they get a $500 gift card um, so it's just icing on the cake for them they do so much for everybody in the community students and everything so it's our way of that's, giving back to them that's great teachers are always so proud of their students and this is must be a great way for students to be so proud of their teachers exactly too. oh they, they show it too yeah. well don't forget to nominate your favorite educator for KSATS educator of the month each month's winner gets a $500 prepaid gift card from First Mark Credit Union just visit ksat.com slash educator for details and for more information on First Mark Credit Union and the First Mark Foundation, just call 210-442-0100 or visit the website firstmarkcu.org. Brian, nice chatting with you. Thank yes, sir. You, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Still ahead, this guy is monitoring the fun on set today. We're joined by Mobile Zoo that your kids can experience this month. Well, you know it is a wild Wednesday, so we have got the tortoise and we have got the hare and the hares, and they are big ones as well. <laughs> and these giant rabbits are part of the tale today. It's a mobile zoo that's making monthly appearances, and our dear friend Amanda Winter with Once in a Wild is here. So I'm good here. to see you, my dear. <laughs> okay, Thank you. well, first of all, these guys are just as soft as can be. Thank Who you. are they? Well, the dark one, his name is Gregor. And the lighter one, his name is Sandor. Love the and names. they are Flemish giant rabbits. They're one of the biggest breed of rabbit in the world. So you just didn't feed them too much. They're, they're supposed to be this big. No, they're supposed to be large like this. They can reach up to 25 pounds as how, a breed. How big are they right they're now? They're not quite 25 pounds. Gregor wow. here, the dark one, he's only one year old and he's 22 pounds. This guy here, Sandor, he's five years old and he weighs about 18 pounds. Now, their, their fur almost doesn't feel quite like rabbit fur, a little bit different texture to it. Is that common with these? I'm not really sure. These okay. are my first two oh, Flemish okay. rabbits that I've ever had. But I've been told they're very soft. They're almost chinchilla-like. Oh, yeah. Right? Um, and other rabbits do have different coats, of course. Okay. Just depending. Now, do these make good pets? I think they make great pets for the right family, and that goes for all domesticated rabbits. I think they are a big commitment. Um, mm -hmm. It's kind of like having a cat or a dog. They're a very big commitment. Um, they do better in pairs, but they must be socialized together in order to get along. And I kind of like having two cats, and okay. then they must be spayed or neutered as well. Okay, because we all know what rabbits and all that. That's and, right. and they have to be indoors too because they are a, a prey animal, right? They are a prey animal, and also they <laughs> overheat very easily and they stress out outside if kept outside prolonged. Um, but they can be very easily um, kept inside and very clean animals and even litter box trained. Wow. Isn't that okay. Cool? <laughs> the old story the tortoise and the hare. So this oh, yes. guy, I love how he's take, sneaking a look over the uh, little <laughs> container right there. So who's that? Shelton's over there. That's Shelton John saying hello. <laughs> you're welcome name. to pet him if you would like. I'm not sure if you're going to leave the rabbits or not, but you're welcome to go over there and pet him. Um, he is very sweet. He's a red-footed tortoise. He is gorgeous. He's in his little tray right now, just peeping over at the side. <laughs> that shell, the, the ridges on there, and the designs are so beautiful. It's so fascinating looking. So now, like any other tortoise, he's going to live a long time, right? They do. Most tortoises live a long time, anywhere from, I would say, like a 50-year-old animal, and some tortoises actually live to be like 200, 250. Um, but this species usually lives around 60 or 70 years maximum. A big commitment, for okay. sure. Okay. Okay. Now, next, we oh. have one of my favorite animals there. Absolutely. <laughs> so this is actually my favorite type of animal, a snake, and his <laughs> name is Logan. And he's only two years old. He's going to get a lot bigger than this. He's just a baby Woma python is what they're called. Which is uh, an aborigine name, right? Yeah. As far as I know, that is where the derivative name Woma comes from. Mm -hmm. um, that's what we've been told over years. It's an aboriginal word. Um, I'm not sure what it means because <laughs> I don't speak that language, but they are from Australia in the wild. Now, how big is he going to get? They can get 
maximum around six feet for a male and around eight feet for a female. Females are bigger and they do stay rather slender bodied overall for a python because they tunnel underground and they live in the desert as well. Okay, another one that's very interesting over there yeah. in the uh, little water tank. What's that guy? That's Ghost, and she's an axolotl. Um, you can remember the name because axolotl questions, right? <laughs> Which is what you're doing with me. <laughs> I like that. Um, axolotls are in the salamander family, and they happen to be an endangered species and are from Xochimilco, Mexico. And she's an albino, so she's got spot of special coloration. And, um, and most of them are going to be dark colored. Endangered, right? They are critically endangered, which is okay. near extinct in the wild. All right. Now, this guy, <laughs> a monitor lizard. I think a monitor lizard is the giant Komodo dragons, That's and he's right. related to them, right? So Komodo dragons are the biggest of the monitor lizards and the biggest lizards in general. This is a savanna monitor, and she happens to be a female. Her name's Dina, and Dina is not going to get nearly as large as a Komodo dragon and not even nearly as large as a male savanna monitor. Males are much much bigger than females. Right and the beach. savanna of Africa. So they just they run around with all That's the That's right. It's going to be grassland there. and savanna. Um, their favorite thing to hunt is insects and other invertebrates like tarantulas and scorpions. But they can really eat whatever fits into their mouth as long as it's another animal because they are carnivores. So you've got dozens and dozens of animals. You can come to Indeed. private events, schools, everything else. And then also on a regular basis, people can come see all of your, your animals, right? Absolutely. We have some public events coming up. Please check our social media and our website, onceinawall.com, to see what dates and uh, we're going to be out and what places we're going to be out to. There are some free events as well as ticketed events. And then of course we can come on into your event as well, whether it's a private event or public event. We can come to your classroom, birthday party, uh, nursing home, and much more. Okay, Let's see you this, soon. This guy's <laughs> just about to fall asleep. He's Fascinating so <laughs> as always. Man, thank you so thank very much. You. If you'd like more information <laughs> about Once in a Wild Mobile Zoo, just snap that QR code on your screen or go to salive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, up next Next, it is crawfish season, y'all. We dive into the Crawfish Festival happening right now in Selma with a freebie for active military and veterans. Well, it is the biggest event they throw all year and it is celebrating all things crawfish. The seventh annual Big TX Fun Crawfish Festival is going on right now here at Rotama Park in Selma and with everything we need to know about the festival and crawfish in general is Festival Director DeBron West. Thank you for having us. Thanks for coming. Okay, literally it's all about crawfish. How many tons, pounds do you have? Last year in 17 days we went through 20,000 pounds. This year we ordered 30,000 pounds of crawfish. So that's 15 tons of crawfish? Yes. A lot of crawfish. How many individual little crawfishes is that? A lot. I don't know. I haven't counted them. <laughs> you haven't counted them all yet? So. Okay. You had earlier, and this is going on through the 24th now, right? Yes. So you had all the crawfish eating it. And how, many, how much does somebody go through usually in a, in a sitting? Uh, on average, they order about three pounds. Okay. But then the problem is you got to peel them and Sit do all there and peel. you got to do the work. All right, so a lot going on here as far as all the activities, circus going on here, carnival atmosphere, all the rides and everything, right? Yes, and this year is something new. We have two circuses, so we have a big top circus and then we have an extreme circus with the motorcycles and the globe of death. And then your traditional circus with acts such as her. Which is just amazing watching her do that. So, and plus lots of music too, right? Yes, we have live music daily. And we also have schools performing, local dance, karate studios in the area. All right, and now this is family fun. Now, not only for the entertainment, but also the rides too. So if the little itty bitties, they've got rides just for them and then for the grown-ups too. Yes, it's an event for everybody. We have the live music and crawfish for the adults, the rides, the circus, balloon artists, face painters, the whole thing for the children. And then the fun thing is, all the entertainment, once you get in the gate, that's part of your ticket, right? Yes, the entertainment is included, and it's only $12 per adult and $8 per child, and you get the circus shows, the pig races, the petting zoo, and the live music. Okay, pig races, how's that coincide with crawfish again, pig races? Pig, well, after you get done with your crawfish, you have your funnel cake, and then you oh. go to the pig races. Ooh, so three pounds of crawfish, how much poundage of funnel cake do you it's think? It's gotta be at least a pound of funnel cake. Okay, I like that idea. How, much, how do you get tickets? Uh, tickets are only sold on site once the event opens. Okay, and your hours are? During the week, during spring break, we're three o'clock openings, and on the weekends, noon. All right, and you've got a special for active and veteran. Military, we do, right? it is Military City USA, so we 
Big Texas Fund donates one pound to a crawfish to every active duty and veteran. Does that include the peeling and eating? Are they no, still do that? but I'm considering a VIP tent just for that next year. Oh, okay. It'd be I, a good addition. I, I like that idea. All right, well, the seventh annual Big TX Fun Crawfish Festival is going on right now through the 24th right here at Rotama Park in Selma. Tickets are only available on site at Rotama Park. And of course, for more information, visit the website BigTXFun.com. Up next, it's a local gym that's all about basketball. How you can join in a pickup game, whether you're an adult or a kid, and get one-on-one -on -one lessons to up your game. That's next on SA Live. Well, we are a city of basketball fans. And did you know that there is a gym here in town that focuses primarily on basketball? Pick Up USA Fitness is where we are right now. And joining me to tell us all about it is Jesus Sanchez, franchisee owner. Whew, I can't believe I did that, huh? It only took like five tries. Hey, that was good. <laughs> All right. Good. Okay. So tell us what sets Pick Up USA Fitness aside from other gyms. So what we focus on is mainly on basketball. As you can see, the course that we have here, we are a basketball-driven gym. So we may, we may have fitness equipment areas here in the back. But our primary is to get our adults the officiated pickup games for the adults, and for our kids, we have the youth development league here. So this is completely different from the setup you and I probably grew up with, where you walk up to the playground and you're just looking for a pickup game to join, right? Oh, yeah. How does that work here day to day? So the day to day here is that you get a if, once you sign up for a membership, you get a four-digit pin. Come in and just start shooting any core you want to, you know. And for adult and youth memberships, what's included with those? So for your adult memberships, it included the open gym, the fitness equipment areas in the back, and, and of course the unlimited officiated period games they get. All right. From Monday to Thursdays at 7 to 10 p.m. And so how does the Youth Development League work? So how that works is kids that sign up for YDL, is they get weekly uh, practices, weekly skills trainings, and then their league games on Saturdays. So their so skill trainings are Thursdays and Fridays from 6 to 7. Those are hosted by our prior trainers. Woohoo! So what about adults? Tell us about your adult officiated games. So the adult officiated games, I said earlier, they're 10 minute games right. long. Uh, the referees call the fouls, they keep scoreboard. And how it works is when first five that sign up at the front desk, they're on the team. Second set of five sign up, they're on the second team, right? So after 10 minutes, the team with the high score wins. The team that wins keeps on playing. The team that loses comes back to the front desk, signs up, and just wastes their turn on the system. Okay, can you do me a favor and just watch this clip real quick of my co-host? This is Mike Osterhage, okay? He's at the Alamo Dome, all right? And as you can see, um, he keeps trying to make that basket, but he's just not successful. Or but, Mike. No, I know, right? But you can help him, right? Yes, because you guys offer private sessions, private lessons? Yeah, so the first private training session is free on us. That's where any, any kid or adult can come in, sign up with any of our trainers that we have, get a free evaluation, and then our trainers will tell them what their weaknesses are and what they can improve on and help them improve on for the long term. You know, uh, if you've got a kid that are trying out for their school organization, school kids uh, clubs, they can come in, work on their game, and not, not just improve their skill set for basketball, but also get a great workout. All right, and um, the first session, as you mentioned, for private is free, right? Yes. You hear that, Mike? Free. Mike, okay. I got you, Mike. Yes, all right. And you have a raffle for new members this month. What can they enter to win? Yes, if they come in, sign up in the month of March, they, if they win the raffle, then they get that third month off free. Speaking of improving your skills, you guys have a shooting machine. Yes, we do. All right. We've got a couple here. Can I try that out? Sure, go for it. <laughs> Let's do it. I'll get you on. USA Fitness is on Northwest Loop 410 near Ingram Park Mall. For more information, just give them a call at 210-952-5872 or you can fill out their guest pass online and try it out. That website is pickupusafitness.com. Just click on their San Antonio location. 
Hey, tomorrow on SA Live, don't sleep on this brunch spot. We're taking you to the heart of downtown to fuel your day at Pink Shark Bar, and you've got to try these unbelievable bagels they have. Plus, Jen takes us Texas trip into the hill country to a place where you can get up close with giraffes and rhinos. It's all tomorrow, 1 p.m. on SA Live. All right, it is one of those questions that has people just, you know, maybe, well, maybe controversial. How do you eat your pizza? Crust first. Interesting, Bertie. Well, that way you save all the good stuff for the end. Pointy side first, semi-folded, ice cold tea. Ooh, that sounds good too, I like that. Fold in half, hot dog style, okay. And with my hands, one slice at a time with pepperoni and pineapple. Boy, there's another question, well, pineapple on pizza. Start at the top, of course. Thank you very much, Christopher. Eat half of it and then start eating the crust. That's kind of like what I like to do here. So, hey, we've got some other great pizza deals coming up for you. Grimaldi's is offering up giant slices for $3.14 each. That's happening at select locations from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. tomorrow. Round Table Pizza is offering a personal cheese pizza for $3.14. The deal is valid for all Round Table Pizza royalty members at participating locations tomorrow. BJ's Brewhouse is offering a mini one-topping pizza for $3.14. That's dine-in only tomorrow at participating location. And our first guest of the day, Matangas. Yep. You have got a special as well, right? That's right. So tomorrow on Pie Day, come on out and celebrate Pie Day with us. $3.14 for a 10-inch cheese pizza. You can add any toppings, bring the whole family. All right. And wish them a happy birthday as well because it is 10 years now business. for Matangas, six locations around town. And on April 1st, you've got the Fiesta pizza That's right. coming out. That's right. That's the one I tried with that special sauce, the little corn on there. It's like kind of a corn in a cup down there with cheese and yes. all that good. Yes. And you know what I forgot to do? Dip in the special ranch that you have. Maybe next time. Maybe I know. Time. But you've got this pizza. Which one is this? This is the Santa Fe's bacon, uh, pepperoni, and hatch green chili. Happy Pie Day. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Hey, where are you going, Steven? Celebrate San Antonio with us on YouTube. Yeah, all of your favorite DIY videos, food, drinks, tips, and tricks. If you've seen it here, it's on the SA Live YouTube channel. Just search KSAT SA Live on YouTube and like, subscribe, and ring the bell.